Okay, we start with the warming up. A little bit rounder. Remember yesterday, the, the, the beginning, I don't say is always the same, because the beginning is depending from the, from the horse. The lazy horse, we ride a little bit more active. The hot one, we start a little bit below the, the activity. The one who uh, has the habit to, to come very quickly against and over the bit, we ride a little bit rounder and deeper. But we also have horses who go very quickly by themselves too low and on the forehand. And that's the one we are a little bit careful to give them too much down. This is beautiful. So that, that is what I meant this morning. It will be maybe a little bit boring today because each horse that comes in, we prefer to create the same picture. Huh? You, you understand? And, and that makes the strength of our riding. It's not a help that I come in over here and each horse comes in to, to amuse you to do another thing. Huh? That you say... Hank is so good, he has had so much variation, he keeps us so interested in the work. I want to be boring in that. I want to see with each rider uh, that they more or less build up their work in the same way and in the same system. And everything that on left or right is different is different because the, the animal, the, the horse tells us what to do. Very good. Very nice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this, uh, the, the first stretching. And she does the same. I asked Jennifer, do a little bit forwards, more as a check. <coughs> when she rides a little bit forwards, it's not that she wants to show well, us already a medium trot, but leg, hum, forward, thank you. Answer is okay. Like that neck position. I, my personal, I always have the feeling, if the horse is stretching uh, and his nose is a little bit about where he is now, so halfway the, 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 the upper level of that front leg, that that is for most of the horses the most ideal position of stretching. Rather, yeah, I have to be careful, rather than that they put the nose on the ground. Because in that outline I have already that top line stretched, the horse is relaxed, and still I, because I don't overdo it, I have that freedom in the shoulder. And if I really, really let him go with the nose on the ground, still they can make it, but then they fall already a bit, so boom, boom, boom on the, on the front leg. I want to keep in the stretching also the shoulders free, so the horse can, can deal with the Activity of the hind leg that I have to ask for and that I have to build up. I have to I must must be able to transport that activity of the hind leg over the back, through the neck, into the contact of the hands. That's exactly what you see happen over here. 